What's going on folks? Welcome back to the handheld edition. We're doing the Sansui 3900. Usually I got this on a tripod. I'm just showing you here all over this. I'm going to try to do this in four minutes or less. We've got, Let's go over the speaker system. We've got switch outputs on the back. Here we're missing a banana jack. We've got this connected here so when you, we listen to it a little bit later. We've also got a battery case here. Not sure what that does. I thought it had to do with the memory on the radio but that doesn't seem to be the case. I've still got my channels are still programmed in there. They haven't changed so I don't really know what that actually does. Uh, here you've got the tape and you've got a phono and an aux inputs on these. Um, so there's that. We've also got the antennas, which are the twist jacks, which are nice. We've got a little wire here. This is what we do. Oh, we had a little wire here. Let's put this back in there. It's probably like two. Yeah, it's like it's probably too skinny for this, but you should probably use speaker wire, honestly. Yeah, we'll just whatever. It is what it is. It was working, so let's get it back. Now this video is gonna be 10 minutes long, thanks to this. Let's put that in there and just leave it. We're not gonna pull on it. Got a little ferrite on here. We've got the top off so you can see the inside. Let's look at the inside while we're here. No bulging on the capacitors. There we go. We got the main capacitors right there in the front. We've got some other things on the boards here. Nice clean wiring. I've seen the wiring on this before, and uh, yeah, everything looks pretty clean. Went over it with some deoxid and made sure that we cleaned it up. Did all the uh, potentiometers on this as well. The lights work. Let's get around to the front. We're hitting the two minute mark. We got to keep this rolling. We've got some music here going on on auxiliary. Let's get back to what we got. I like this track. It's gonna be the radio first. There we go. We find a channel that actually works. That's got some speaker. There we go. We've got the signal meters. They work. Locked. Works. I'm going to turn that down right now. And where's our light? We had a little light here. There it is. Just got dabbed when we were cleaning it out. So there's the light. And uh, yeah, everything looks really good. Nice clean numbers and all that good stuff. Let's look at the front of this face. Also looking pretty solid. Let's turn on those lights again. This face we just went over with some Peak aluminum cleaner. And man, that thing took all the knobs off. Hit all the pots with some deoxid. You know, we gave this thing the once over. We gave it a good once over. So it's looking pretty solid. Nice and shiny. No major scratches. Scuffs, no dings, no dents. It looks great. This is going to look great. The only downside is that one speaker terminal that's missing in the back, but you, I don't know if you can do both speakers. I guess you could get it replaced. Put this up for about 150, 175. Should leave you some room to do that. Let's go over to the aux. Here we go. Let's put the balance back on here. We got the treble on. Put some loudness on. I'm sure gonna love this track. Looks nice. It's a nice look. I like the little incandescent look on there. Looks good. And it comes with a cover, of course. Very nice. Shaking the room, shaking the walls. The neighbor's gonna be complaining here in a second. Let's turn that down. So let me show you how to do the uh, tune on the actual. This part will have a separate thing. Here's the FM. So let's just say we're listening to DC 101, Cranberries. And we want to tune into this. We're going to hold the memory and whatever button at the same time. So memory. And now it is, this little thing will flash up here. So let's, there it is. There we are. So let's go to another one. So we had two. Now let's go back to one. There it is, DC 101. So that's how you do it. Memory and 
whatever button you want to do at the same time simultaneously that is how you program the memory and you don't need the batteries to do that so um let's just see something here because maybe those batteries are all about memory let's plug this back in plug it back on all right it's on there Nope. Okay, so we unplugged it and that, that doesn't affect it. So we're not sure what those batteries do. Maybe someone else will know. Here's the cover. The cover looks really good. It's clean. It's a simulated wood. It's a metal. Looks like walnut or acacia or whatever. Thanks for watching guys.